it'll never cease to amaze me exactly just how developers just keep missing the point. And of course, I'm talking to the people who worked on Friday the 13th, the game. I haven't really made my uh, feelings about the game publicly known, but I'll do it right now. Um, the game's not that good. Um, as a matter of fact, it is so not good that within a month of me buying it, I returned it. Now, I'm going to pause on that and tell you why I'm doing this video. <clears throat> as I'm laying out here on the couch, just relaxing and enjoying my Friday. Um... It was announced that the developers are releasing a special um, Slashers edition of the game for consoles, and I think PC as well. And this game would include pretty much all the, pretty much any and all DLC that has come with the game so far, um, including a, uh, a Jason-style hockey mask, um, which I would assume is... Roughly, arguably the same size as a standard hockey mask would be. Now, they got to ask the question, like, you know, like, what's the big deal? That seems really cool. Um, it isn't until you really look at it, until you really look at it from a whole other perspective. And if by the end of this, you, you don't agree and you, you want to get the game, uh, by all means. I'm not trying to deter anyone away from getting this if you so want, but um, I'm going to tell you why. Um, the game itself, since its Kickstarter, to me, has very, has very, like, tumultuous, uh, past, and it's not getting better. Meaning that there are people who did get cheated out on their Kickstarter, um, when the, when it was, before the game even got officially worked on, and after Kickstarter, there were complaints of people not getting said product, um, they were not getting said items that they were supposed to get. And that's about as vague as I can be on it without actually looking up story. Now, that alone, I can argue, could just be the fault of the the team working on the project not being able to reach out to other people. I, I can get that, and I can definitely understand people's frustration with that. But that's the, that's a problem in all of itself. When it comes to... When you're kickstarting a game or you're choosing to kickstart a game, you have to be 100% prepared to deliver on the goods. There are a reason why a lot of games that do get funded on Kickstarter, like, they want to make sure that the people who are supporting it are getting what they're paying for. <clears throat> now, the game itself, as I'm staring as... My daughter is screaming at my cat. Anyway. It's, it's, I'm just saying, it's a good foundation to have a good team working on the project. And if you're going to have it, and if you're, and if you're, if it's going to be completely funded by the fans, you need to deliver to the fans. That, that should be the, the minimum. All right. So. And then it got to the game coming out. And. I, wa I watched gameplay of it. It looked like it was fun. Um, my experience with the game was not solid. It really was not. And for a multitude of reasons. Number one, the game had a lot of online problems. A lot of bugginess. A lot of glitches. A lot of stuttering. Lag. Um, there was just a lot wrong. There was a lot wrong with the basic fundamental of the game. And since it's a game that's online only... They changed it, but I'll get to there in a minute. Um, if the core element of the console version of this game is not refined, that of itself just makes it made the it made the entire reason for this game being just it, almost unplayable for me. It was very unenjoyable. Um, and then a lot, and then there was rumors and news coming out about it that really did not make this any better. There was, um, a lot of secret dealings going on with the development team as far as selling rights and that they didn't, ne that they did not necessarily have. And, um, lawsuits that are currently going on because the people who actually own the rights to Jason, um... I'm guessing them and the development team are at, at are at odds as to who officially has the rights, and there's no, there's really no chance that this is going to get settled anytime soon. 
Um, and I know I'm being very vague on the details of that, and the reason why is I haven't looked at the case, but I do know it basically comes down to whether or not the company has official rights to use the like to use the character of Jason um, in the game as well as the other characters. The other characters, um, I don't believe so. They have similar likeliness to the characters from the various movies, but they're clearly not the same. <clears throat> Um, the other issue comes from the fact that they have not, oh boy, they have not promised what they said they were going to do. They promised they were going to be delivering more DLC and content updates, more, 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 just more, more stuff. And this is where I'm getting pissed off. The game literally has one mode and it's online survival. That's, that is it. It's online. I'm sorry, not online survival. You you either play as one of the seven or eight counselors, or you play as Jason. The problem with this is that you don't have a say as to which you which you get. Yes, you can change the settings on your personal in-game profile to whether or not you want to be a counselor, or if you want to be Jason, or if you want to be a, a mix of the two. But considering the fact that you have to share a lobby with at least seven other people... The chance of of everyone getting equal opportunity to play what they want if they have I, the same settings is is ridiculously narrow, and that's not. And I've already mentioned, you know, the problems with the online game itself. The fact that you know there's so much in-game stuttering and lag, and just, just <clears throat> the, the, there's so much there's so many issues with with in-game balance because you could like you could literally be in a lobby with a bunch of people who've never played, and you can be up against somebody who has been like. Um, somebody who helped beta test the freaking game, who, who's like, you know, who, like, he's, the, 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 he's like a pro. I'm, I'm starting with words right now. I've only had one cup of coffee today. I'm a little, I'm struggling a little bit. This, this, this game reeks of just not caring. And it's been very clear through various larger YouTube channels that have streamed this game that the developers really have pretty much given up on it. They've gone on social media talking about, well, there's really not a whole lot we can do with all this issues, with all the, the legal issues now looming in court. How does it translate to their game? It pretty much means they can't do anything else. So we got a Tom Savini Jason, which was a Savini concept, which is pretty awesome. We got Part 5, which was not Jason Voorhees to begin with. Um, we weren't given, uh, we weren't given, I don't believe we were given a Freddy, Freddy versus Jason, Jason, nor were we given a, uh, a reboot Jason, and we weren't even given a space Jason, even though that there, there was like a teaser or fake teaser, or they were alluding to Jason X, like that version of Jason, as well as like, um, DLC that would contain various elements of Jason X. And it's just gone. They gave us the part five Jason, which was which was cool for a minute, and then they pretty much just gave up on the game. They gave up on the game, and everything's lining up to the developers getting in over their heads. That's all I can really say with much confidence. The developers don't know what they don't know. They didn't know what they were doing, and right now we have a game that it included a. Um, I call it the the black op mode, which uh, if you refer if you remember the first Modern Warfare, you have your story mode, you have your multiplayer, and then you have your black op mode, which is essentially like your challenge uh, section. Which that's exactly what it is. You play as the you play as Jason. You have and there's five objectives. One of them secret, and then you use them to get points. The points level up your character. It, it, I like I like that progression. Like that is available offline. But to have it that far out when this game has has been out now for over a year, it feels like it's way too much too late. Or I'm sorry, it's it's way too little too late, I should say. At least with Dead by Daylight, they added their tutorial mode. Like they gave like there's a reason for it. They wanted to introduce new people to the game to like help them with some of the the basics, and they actually gave you blood points for doing it, and it was a decent amount. I think it was like uh. 15,000 for playing for tutorial for the survivor and 15,000 for the killer. So that right there, I mean, that's if you're starting the game, you, you just, there's your first five levels right there. And that game keeps changing. They keep adding more to it, more levels, more characters, more concepts. And now they're, now they're in the mode where they're allowing you to basically buy 
you know, cosmetics, which, I mean, whatever, take it or leave it. But right now, as it stands, we have a game that has had a lot of issues with customers complaining that they have not basically, they have not received what they had paid for on Kickstarter. A development team and the people behind the product who are currently caught in uh, court, like, lawsuit craziness that it, it, there's no end in sight right now. Um, shady dealings going on behind the curtain, them pretty much abandoning the game altogether, which would account for the fact that there are so many glaring problems with the game that have not been addressed. And to me, after everything is said and done, a game that is not properly ironed out, they have not fine-tuned the specs, they have not gone over all of the glaring issues with a fine-tooth comb. Instead, they've, they add a, um... <clears throat> They had one DLC character, um, and a couple, and like I think a cosmetic change here or there. They really haven't worked on any of the in-game um, issues or any of the server problems. And now they, um, in between all that, and no, no soon to be, re you know, no, no soon conclusion to their court issue or court dates or anything like that. They now want to sell a slasher version of the game that includes everything, which in my opinion really isn't much to begin with, but you get a hockey mess to go with it. So that right there just screams that these people are doing everything they can right now to get money. They don't care about the people. They've abandoned the people, in my opinion. They're hoping to God, I think, that this will eventually keep, will probably help keep their, um, their bottom line looking decent. Because as it stands right now, this, this just announcing the Slashers edition of this game, it has already created a massive divide. It's bad enough that the game, like people, big time YouTubers who are once streaming this game are now like leaving it because there's nothing left. Like Omrecker in his, uh, one of his last streams, he he's mentioned that he's like the developers all but basically came out and said that we're abandoning this game and that's what it feels like it feels so incomplete and so imbalanced and there's so much that needs to get done and it's not getting done and the fact that they're going to focus more on a complete edition of the game with a collector's hockey masks tells me that they care more about money than they do about working on their game and you might argue well dead by daylight has product yes they do but they also have patches like every month or so and they work on it. So, I've seen people argue, what are you complaining about? No big deal. This is totally worth the money. I I, I read one one comment. Oh, it's totally worth the $40 uh, for what you got. And I have to argue, really? That was worth $40? You're stuck in matchmaking purgatory hell, and you don't know whether or not you're even playing a survivor or a Jason. You only have access to one or two Jasons when you start the game. And maybe one or two counselors. The progression system feels like it takes forever. All the games are based entirely on luck. And they don't really get to skill until like halfway through the game. And that's if you don't accidentally get discovered by Jason. While you're just starting the game. Because for all you know, you can get <coughs> sequestered into a random cabin. With absolutely nothing in it. And several of the Jasons can pretty much like go from one side of the screen to the other. In a mere matter of seconds. So... For $40, I'd have to make the argument that no, it's not worth it. That game should have came out $20, $30 from the get-go with a, with everything else. It should have had other modes available. Okay, It should have automatically made it available to choose whether or not you want to play Jason or the Survivor. Just like Dead by Daylight did. That way, no one's sitting in lobbies while everyone's trying to get their priority cues in line. They should have, <coughs> they should have included their survival mode. Um, from the get-go. This is the game that was been talking about. And this was a game that was mentioned prior to Kickstarter for a good amount of time. And then this is where it's at. Um, a very limited game. And now they want more from you. So you'll have to excuse me when I say no thank you. And I look forward to um, seeing if by any weird chance that if the developers of this game... Uh, they end up losing the lawsuit and the game is pretty much done DOA. I'm kind of curious to see if the people who work on Dead by Daylight can get some rights to Jason um, and then we can get the the last piece of the uh, monster movie slasher puzzle added to the game. But that that's never going to happen. I mean, like, 
we're talking like <clears throat> less than 1% of that happening, but I, I can dream. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you think these people have much of a case? Have you played the game? What do you think? I am I was, I thought it was a personal letdown. I said I had the game for a month, and then I am, I returned it because I felt like I kind of got taken. So I get people still like the game. I, there is an element of fun there, but to me, there's no balance for beginning players. There's no real, there's no balancing as far as how the game actually plays out. And the constant, constant barrage of in-game problems was so upsetting. And I, I'm sorry, I can't support a game that doesn't want to that doesn't want to support itself, and the devs don't want to support back. So, with that being said, that was an easy that was an easy decision for me to bring it back. And um, I'm I'm really hoping no one kind of buys into this. And if you really want to understand, and if you really want to mask that badly, please go to Party City and buy one, or watch. Um, or watch Big Hush on YouTube, and he'll show you how to make a proper Jason style hockey mask. Me personally, stay away from the stay away from this this uh, special edition of the game. You could probably go buy the game right now for twenty dollars at GameStop if you really want to try it. I let curiosity carry you the rest of the way. I refuse to pay. Any, I'm sorry, but let's be honest. If they were to charge anything else over the thirty dollars, like thirty, forty dollars for this game, at, with all the DLC and the hockey mask, then they're taking advantage of you because there's no way that thing is worth in more than ten dollars. Anyway, that's just me. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I kind of let it wander on there, but that's what happens when you love with one of your favorite horror movie icons is bastardized like this for by a team who ultimately show their true colors. Um, by getting themselves into legal troubles and then basically trying to, you know, shat out another game for the sake of making a quick buck. So that's going to do it.